here we stand up for what's right, and it's been a while since we had a fight. Every year during the Christmas season, London poet and playwright Richard Marsh creates, recreates Die Hard in one man show called Yippie Kaye. He uses just a few <laughs> props, has a much lower <laughs> special effects budget, and Richard Marsh joins us live this morning. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Oh, we're great, thank you. Uh, happy holidays to you. So I figure you are an expert, and I wanna start off by asking, uh, can you officially call Die Hard a Christmas movie? <laughs> I'm going to say it is a Christmas movie. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go right out and say that. I think it's a Christmas movie. It's a movie I, I watch all year round, but it's, it's absolutely a Christmas movie. I, I think some of the controversy over is it a Christmas movie or not possibly comes down to a sort of an, an assumption behind that question, which is maybe that a Christmas movie should be one that's watched with children. Yes. Uh -huh. and <laughs> that's, I wouldn't that's watch that with my kids. <laughs> okay, well, it's also one of one of maybe even the greatest action movie ever. So tell us how you go from the big screen to your one man show. <laughs> so it was an idea I'd had for a long time that uh, act. The, the apparent opposites contained within within the idea of Die Hard as uh, an epic poem seemed funny to me, and that, that that seems like it's an opposite. And then beyond that, you've got some of the photos playing on screen now. My sort of skinny, bespectacled self as John McClane, <laughs> that's another nice opposite within there as well. And a lot of my ideas start from comedy and things that make me laugh. And then after that, the task is to go through the idea, dig deeper into it, and find the humanity behind it and the truth behind the comedy. And that's the process of of writing Yippie Kaye and, and we were in a second lockdown. Uh, things weren't at their most cheerful. I was writing another play, which I think would have been a perfectly decent play, but would have been quite heavy going about grief. And I thought, I don't think I want to be writing this right now. I don't think people are going to be wanting to watch this play when we come out of lockdown. I'm going to go back to that diehard idea, which I've been sort of pondering in the back of my mind for all this time. I think now is the time for that. And I set out to make a piece that could be as joyful to perform and as joyful to watch as I was able. And the reaction has been, it's just been absolutely lovely. The reaction has been fantastic. So I'm really chuffed that I chose to write that, not a grief play. <laughs> what is it about Die Hard that drew you to it that made you want to create a one-man show? I've always loved it. Um, ever since I first saw it as a kid, I've loved this movie. And I think sort of the, the ridiculous challenge of trying to do it on stage is part of it. Yeah. I was lucky enough to have a fantastic director, Hal Chambers, a great movement director, Emma Webb. And you get to take sort of all of the, all of the wonder of the film. You can see Bruce Willis there, you can see Alan Rickman, the fantastic cast of this film. I get to, it's not an impression show, but I get to do my version of the, those characters, those actors. Um, and tell, tell a story and, and combine it with a, a sort of a real life story as well. Yeah. So it's, it's just a huge pleasure and a huge challenge every night to try and, and of bring course, this thing off. The movie takes us all over Nakatomi Plaza. So how do you, how do you make the, uh, tell us about like the set that you use and what kind of props? So the set and props are sort of deliberately really limited. So we have we have a stool, um, and we have uh, what do we have? We have we have various items by which I uh, it, make myself messy. You can see on my on my shirt there, on the vest there. The vest is probably one of the biggest props. The teddy bear that you can see yeah. there. Um, mm -hmm. The teddy bear becomes Tony, Carl's younger brother, the first terrorist to die. Um, so we have a big fight with a teddy bear. I cover myself in, in blood and cocoa powder <laughs> during the course of the show. And I think the audience really enjoy the sort of the theatricality and the silliness of it and being part of the imagination. Everyone in that theatre is is imagining the movie and imagining our version of the movie at the same time and those two combine and audiences really seem to love the the fact that we're saying we're pretending this we're all making it up it's it's almost like a child plays a pretend game um and yeah, yeah it's, it's huge fun to do are, are you are you taking dialogue from the movie or did you rewrite your own dialogue so almost all of it is rewritten um Partly so that it rhymes. Uh, there's there's the odd line like when, when Hans reads the the sign which John hangs around Tony's neck. Now now I've got a machine gun. Ho ho ho. Oh, yeah. There's the odd line, <laughs> which is from the movie, but almost all of it is is reworked and and made to rhyme or altered in different ways. Mm. 
I understand we were told that you do a very good Bruce Willis impression. Is that part of the show itself or is it just something you do for fun on the side? <laughs> it's, it is part of the show, yeah. So so um, I, I sort of, I do like, I do my version of Bruce. I do my version of, of Alan Rickman. Um, and I sort of do increasingly uh, idiosyncratic takes on all of the other characters as well. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, uh, any plans to, to bring this show to Chicago? I guarantee you, if you came here, it would be a huge hit. I mean, I would absolutely love to do that. I've, I've been to Chicago once when I was couch surfing across America, and I had a fantastic time there, and I would, I would love to. I mean, please contact us. If anyone's interested, we would love to come. It's, it's a great theater town, and yeah, if you ever is. make it here, uh, we hope to have you uh, here and set. You can, you can maybe perform a little bit of your show. Uh, we'd really appreciate that. that. So, uh, Richard Marsh, thank you so much for your, for your time this morning. Best of luck to you. Thank you for having me. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks. You can get more at YKYLive.com or follow them on social media. And, of course, check out richmarsh.com. The show is going on national tour in the spring.